All right, so thanks for joining us. This is uh, Dave from Champion DJK. If you would indulge me for a moment, would you give us the the intro, the, how you start all of your YouTube videos? <laughs> hey, YouTube, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another video. Hello, YouTubers. This is Champion DJK with my first Hot Wheels haul video. Hello, YouTubers. Hello, YouTubers. Hello, YouTubers. It's Champion DJK. It's Champion DJK. But it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another video. And uh, today I'm just going to share some uh, some recent finds for you. Got the camera flipped around. Um, it was recently my birthday. May 22nd actually was my birthday. And was able to have some fun money to spend on some die cast. <laughs> I think you have something interesting as far as like a weekly haul where you just show whatever cars you find, whatever they are, because if you just go onto like Facebook groups, it's always just treasure hunt, super treasure hunt. Like, yeah, so you're, you're showing stuff that's that's different and it's interesting. I appreciate that. Yeah. And that's, you know, it literally is those diecast weekly videos are literally uh, basically a vlog of my entire collection. Um, it's, I show anything and everything I find that's interesting and whatever I pick up and I try to include it in those particular videos. So yeah, it's in, I, my tastes have changed over time, big time. You know, I used to be just mainline hot wheels. Like I think everybody else starts buying a car because they're a dollar and they look cool and stuff. And you remember them from your childhood. And I got all my supers up on top. Um, all my unique supers, I should say, if there's any duplicates, they're not up here. And then it just, you know, snowballs from there. So yeah, nowadays, you know, I just, I like a little bit of everything and that's kind of a problem because you run out of storage pretty quick, but, uh, but yeah, I love sharing it with everybody. And if I can show you something you didn't know existed, that's, uh, that's a mission accomplished for me. So have you kind of sworn off mainline Hot Wheels or no, I no, absolutely not. I I still pick them up. I you know I don't sh I do still show them when I pick them up usually on the channel, but we just don't bother opening them. But I mean, I still grab the, the dollar card. I don't hunt for them like I used to. We'll we'll say that much. I mean, I used to when I first started this channel. It was really all about you know mainline Hot Wheels and finding supers and stuff like that. And I really went hard you know hunting. But then that's when I didn't have, you know, children. Now I've got a five-year-old <laughs> and a three-year-old. So yeah, don't get as much time to do that anymore. What kind of started you going down the premium line? So where you're picking out like $5 cars? You know, really, I have some of my peers to blame, I guess, for that. Because uh, back in the day when I, when I started the YouTube channel, which was tail end of 2014, there were a couple other channels out there. Um, in particular, there was one, um, Lamar Fashion. I don't know if you can even still find his videos. I think they're probably still up. Uh, but he was really into de detailed replicas. He was really into Kyosho and just anything that he could find that was more, you know, like that was different, that was premium. And he liked really showing those. And that kind of turned me on to, you know, branching out uh, from Hot Wheels. And uh, he ended up sending me, I think, my first Kyosha that I got in my collection. Here's a Lancia. Lancia Rally. The roll's really good, too. So it's Kyosho. Um, we're getting more and more familiar with Kyosho. Today, we're going to talk about Auto World. Other than that, there's no real extra detail or anything. It's just that's kind of what indicates that it's the ultra red version. It's crazy how it switches. You know, you start with a dollar a car. It's very inexpensive hobby. And then you start, you know... All of a sudden you're paying, you know, for some resin models and stuff at 164 scale that are out there, they're going to be at 80 bucks right off the bat. You know, it's just, it's, it's pretty crazy how the hobby has kind of developed right along with my taste sort of. So it's kind of, it's interesting. You know, for me, when I started collecting these cars, of course, a dollar a piece, no big deal. Right. Um, but then I'm like, Hey, I mean, I, I kind of, you know, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and I want to start a channel on this. What if I can recoup some of that money and kind of get something that's kind of just perpetuating, you know, where I can just continue to build a collection and kind of fund it with this. And this, and that comes from honestly, from being, I, I played music all my life since uh, I was, you know, 14. Um, you know, I've been in bands and stuff like that. And that was always the thing, you know, you play, you play in a band, you go play a show, you get the money, um, you use that money to go record, uh, 
or press a CD and then you sell that money and all that money goes back into the man. It's kind of like this self, uh, this, this kind of just this hobby that kind of funds itself by what you're doing. And that's kind of what I wanted to do with diecast. And, and thankfully, you know, fortunately I've been, you know, successful in doing that. So to shift gears a little bit, um, about your personal collection, do you, do you have a favorite car? Like if you were going to be on a desert Island and you could only pick one oh, car man. and would it be the dots and two forty Z? No, it, I don't know. That's a horrible question. <laughs> Impossible to answer. Um, how how you know, does that I, custom rank up there, though? You, you had a video once where you said that was your favorite car and it was always going to be. Yeah, that's OK. Wow. You are really bringing up stuff. So this is from. Uh, so to give context to the viewers here um, right here, we've got cars that I may end up customizing. There are a few gems in here. Um, Datsun 240Z. Shout out to Mr. Sensitivity. I uh, started painting one of these and I sent it to him in an ROAK. So when I first started YouTube and I was kind of, you know, and we're commenting on each other's videos, the other people that do YouTube videos. And of course, I'm new to the party here. And, uh, you know, Mr. Sensitivity was the person. Actually, I was trying to think if I have it like handy. I got something in the mail today. Pretty sweet. Wrapped in the shirt was a little box it says champion on it that's for me uh it's gonna bother Ooh, i do i do okay so anyway mr sensitivity so a lot back in the day these youtubers would send raok boxes to each other okay all the time and that's what you were watching mostly was people opening up boxes from each other that were like gift boxes yeah so actually what's roak uh random r-a-o-k -okay. random act of kindness it's not so random but uh <laughs> but yeah and i sent him an r-a-o-k -okay with a uh, dots and 240z that i had painted just one solid color and i said hey do whatever you want with this and here's a couple other things and blah 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 blah, blah. so he sent it back to me um after he applied golf you know livery and logos to it and uh here it is and all of its hand-painted, homemade decal glory. This thing looks freaking awesome. Just fantastic looking. And then he, he sent it back to me. It actually had chrome wheels, and I ended up painting the rims back and flipping the tires to these orange-lined tires. So it's very much a uh, collaborative effort here. And now we see golf golf logos on hot wheels all the time everywhere oh my god yeah so golf is everywhere it's on green light it's on everything i mean back in the day back then i it wasn't quite as commonplace but uh and he was doing hand painted golf livery well besides the logos of course our detail decals but uh he was hand painting this on like every casting possible back in that time that made me really happy first of all just to be kind of accepted whatever into the into the youtube community for diecast and uh you know that was the first you know real interaction i had with anybody else that had a channel and so to me back then i mean that was a big deal you know so it was really cool it was validating kind of what i was doing and i was starting to make friends you know and that was that was fun that's so. a little bit of how i feel being able to interview you you know so i really appreciate it Hey, no problem. I mean, and I, I love, I mean, I don't always have time nowadays to like respond to every comment or respond to everything. And sometimes I'm slow to get back to people when they email me and stuff like that, because obviously, I mean, this isn't my full-time job. And then, you know, we're all busy. I mean, I got two kids and all that stuff. So it's just, I get a little bit of time for this hobby. So my workflow is ultra simple and it's that on purpose because I literally don't have time. I, I give um, you props for that because I I spend too much time on my videos and I need to learn to be more efficient. I just can't. I never. You, I, I mean, do I have to prep for some stuff? Yes. You know, I have to sometimes I do a little bit of research beforehand before I'm going to start talking about a particular series of cars or whatever. If you want a laugh, you know, you can go back to my original videos when i first started it was like a mainline some of these yeah powerpoint presentation on this crappy laptop um the casting is actually based on a 70s era dodge van i believe trying to show you know where i'm videoing the screen of the laptop right yeah. you know 
And that was the only way I could do it then because I didn't have any editing software or anything. I'm rocking an iPhone 4S, I think, at the time. So, uh, yeah. So, But it would have taken still, a lot of research to prepare for one of yeah, those videos. Right. So I did have to do that. And I put that together. And then I'm like, you know, this is just not worth it. Those videos weren't getting a lot of views. And I just wasn't having fun with that type of video anymore. And then that's kind of when I started the diecast kind of weekly thing or whatever where I was doing the weekly episode. I'm just going to show everybody what I got. I think this is video five. It's been five weeks of doing this. Okay, so this is a uh, weekly update five. And um, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. I did hit a thousand subscribers last week on the fourth of July. Woohoo! I believe this is number fifty-two. I think so. That's fifty-two weeks. That is a year of videos. And it is the first video of two thousand nineteen. And per usual, I've got some cool stuff to show you. And then if I get any other content I think is worth sharing in a short video, I'm going to do that as well. Um, I think value... it works really well. And it's, it's, it's different than the other things I'm getting recommended. I guess I can't say that it's different than everything else that's out there. My, the value I try to bring uh, to the viewer um, basically is just my being just candid about my collecting, what I like what's out there. Maybe I'll give you a tidbit of information you didn't know before. Maybe I'll show you a car you didn't realize existed before. A lot of times we're discovering the stuff together. Um, where especially I do like unboxing videos. That's always fun, you know, cause you, you might pull chase out of the box and those are videos that are fun no matter who, who's really doing them. Um, but it's kind of neat to do those. Um, long story longer, you know, I hub for somebody here in the U S that gets, buys cases of cars and he buys like every green light case every m2 case basically and you know so i'm not getting sponsored by these people getting sent these cases but i'm lucky enough to have a guy um that is ordering them getting them shipped to my house lets me unbox them and then i you know consolidate shipping and make a gigantic package and send it to romania for him so i'm helping him out he's helping me out but it's fun, even if I'm not putting something in my collection, to kind of discover it with the audience, I guess. Open up the box and see what's in there, because I don't even know. Or I wasn't paying attention to what was coming out, you know, from M2. It's a brand I really don't collect all that much. and But it's still fun to look at it and talk about it, you know, in video. I, so. I think that's something that you kind of touch on that makes you successful and makes your videos interesting. What YouTube is really great at is letting the viewer feel like they know you and they're like a part of what you're doing. And especially with your like weekly videos, uh, it's almost like, Hey, this is just my friend. He's just showing me what he bought, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think you've done that from your very first video. And I'm going to show you each car, uh, each exclusive. So here we go. And, uh, feeling a little under the weather today. I think I'm coming down with a cold. Uh, today, I just wanted to give you guys a little uh, room update or a little room tour. Um, basically, um, I cleaned up my Hot Wheels room and I just wanted to kind of show it off a little bit. Um, I didn't really get a chance to make any customs. Um, however, um, I decided, you know, I'd like to sell this kit. This week, I did not find a single thing. Nothing. Um, I still um, am kind of backlogged with uh, stuff to show, which is a good problem to have. Um, pretty good week. Pretty good week indeed. When I'm recording a weekly video, I set up a tripod, I throw my phone on top of it, plug in my little crappy lavalier microphone <laughs> into it, clip it to my shirt, and then pull out the cars I'm gonna talk about, and I just hit record and go. This is my little filming station. Uh, this is where all the magic happens. I mean, rarely ever have I had to edit out something. Like, usually it'd probably be like a, just a horrible sneeze or like a throat clear or something like that where I've had to edit that out. And then I do, though, also from a production standpoint, I do enjoy, like, photography. I like taking pictures of the cars and I like editing photographs. So if there's any time I ever spend it, you know, it's laying in bed and editing photos and stuff like that before I go to bed. That's fun to me to get it get these 164 scale these little cars to look as cool as possible um you know and then if you want to see those pictures you got to follow me on instagram or facebook and sometimes i do post you know one or two to youtube as well do you want to do like just a little sign off now say tell the audience where to go to find you 
Yep. So yeah, you guys. So champion DJK, silly YouTube name, but whatever. We're sticking with it because there's no sense in changing now. And uh, which was my Xbox gamer tag, by the way. And that's where that came from. You can find me on Instagram, which is champion DJK underscore, because apparently without the underscore that was taken. I don't know. Um, and uh, you can also find me, I have a champion DJK Facebook page as well that I post to. Shoot me a message at champion DJK at gmail.com. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much, man, for, for doing the interview with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. It's fun talking about the hobby. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be able to edit it into something that, that people will get value of. So. All right. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. We'll have more from interview with Dave in another video. If you want to click, it should be on the screen right now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.